Hello, I'm Abhishek, a cloud engineer here at AWS office in Sydney. Today, I'm going to show you how to migrate from provisioned Amazon Aurora to Aurora Serverless or from Aurora Serverless to provisioned Aurora. Let's get started. There are two versions for Aurora Serverless configurations. Aurora Serverless V1, available in certain regions. This version supports only specific Postgres MySQL engine versions. Please make sure to review the public documentation available for Aurora Serverless V1 for supported version and region. Aurora Serverless V1 supports migration with either snapshot restore or logical backup and restore using native tools. Aurora version V2, available in most regions. This version supports most of the later Postgres MySQL engine versions that you can find in the public documentation available for Aurora Serverless V2. This version supports migration with snapshot restore, adding a new reader, or logical backup and restore using native tools. Please note that any migration requires an outage for your database. To avoid data loss, it's a best practice to stop all write activity on the source cluster when the newly created or restored cluster completes its workflow. Also, it's a best practice to stop all the write activity before you create a snapshot, a MySQL dump, or a PG dump. Aurora Serverless V1. To migrate from provision to Aurora Serverless V1 instances or from Aurora Serverless V1 to provisioned instances, use the following method. Note that this method uses snapshot restore to begin the migration. This method might require some outage for the duration of the migration. Open the Amazon Relational Database Service Console and then from Navigation pane, choose Databases. Select the Aurora cluster that you want to migrate to provision or Aurora serverless and then choose Actions. Choose to take Snapshot. You can find the Snapshot in Snapshot section on the left pane. Choose Actions and then Restore Snapshot. Choose Provision or Aurora serverless based on what you want to do. For the database cluster identifier, enter a name of your restored cluster. Choose Restore DB Cluster. Once the cluster becomes available, the provision cluster is migrated to Aurora Serverless V1 cluster. Aurora Serverless V2. There are two options that we can use to migrate from provision to Aurora Serverless V2 instances or from Aurora Serverless V2 to provision instances. The first option that we use is Snapshot Restore to begin the migration. But for Aurora Serverless V2 cluster, this method requires a longer outage for the duration of the migration. The second option that we can use is to add a reader. This option reduces the downtime for the migration because outage occurs only during the cutover phase. For Aurora Serverless V2, it's a best practice to use add a reader. Serverless V2 option 1, use snapshot restore. Open the RDS console and then from the navigation pane, choose databases. Select the Aurora cluster that you want to migrate to provision or Aurora serverless and then choose actions. Choose take snapshot. You can find the snapshots in the snapshot section on the left pane. Choose actions and then restore snapshot. Choose provision or Aurora serverless based on what you want to do. For Aurora serverless v2, in the instance configuration section under database class, Choose serverless. For the database cluster identifier, enter a name of your restored cluster. Specify any other settings. For more information, see settings for Aurora DB cluster in Amazon Aurora guide for creating a DB cluster. Choose restore DB cluster. Once the cluster becomes available, the provision cluster is migrated to Aurora serverless v2 cluster. Serverless V2 option 2. Open Amazon RDS console. Choose databases from left pane. Choose your existing Aurora cluster that you wish to migrate. Under actions, choose add reader. On the reader page, specify options for your Aurora replica. Be sure to choose the appropriate instance category, that is, use Aurora Serverless V2 provisioned as needed. Click on add reader. Delete old reader instance if exists to avoid failover to these instance by selecting reader instance on console and then choosing delete under action. 
after the new instance is available as reader, force a failover by selecting the writer instance on the console and under actions choose failover. This promotes the reader instance to a writer instance. After the newly created instance becomes the writer instance, you can add another reader and then delete provision reader instance as needed. Once these instances become available, the provision cluster is migrated to Aurora Serverless V2 cluster. Logical backup and restore using native tools. Another option for migration between Aurora Serverless and Provision is to use native tools to perform a logical backup and restore. Note that this method requires a long outage for migration, but this method works for both Aurora Serverless V1 and Aurora Serverless V2. To use this method, you must create a new database cluster with the required target configuration, that is provisioned or Aurora serverless instances. Create a logical backup of your existing database and restore into the new cluster to migrate data. You may refer to the article linked in the video description for the steps. So now you know how to migrate from provisioned Aurora to Aurora serverless or from Aurora serverless to provisioned Aurora. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.